Alrighty, you guys, I am back in my classroom for day two. I think today is going to be a bit more productive. I have a plan. I've learned some things since yesterday, so that is all great news. It's about 11.45. Um, I did teach this morning until 10, and then, like always, after teaching VIP Kid, I just am moving in slow motion. <laughs> so the quickest I was able to get here was 11.45, which is fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unpack everything in my car and then I will get started, let you guys know what I'm going to be working on today and I have a list in order and I'm just going to get rocking and rolling on that list. So let's see how long this unloading takes. Um, the car is unloaded. It did not take long at all. So that is exciting. And like I was saying, I have learned some things. Thing one, my room is very, very hot. So um, today I went for shorts. I wasn't sure yesterday if that would be okay. I know there are students on campus for summer school, but I noticed some other teachers were on campus wearing shorts. So I'm much cooler today. Other than that, um, I wanted to be more productive today. So I made a list. Here's my list. It is rainbow, of course. I'm going to go to Michael's. I already did that. Unload my car. I already did that. I'm making crate seats, so you guys will get to see that. I'm thinking today, I'm pretty confident I'm going to do the horseshoe and do a low table in the middle of the horseshoe with crate seats, and that will be a station for centers. So I decided to make some crate seats. I'll tell you all about it. I am also going to try the horseshoe shape. If I have time, I'm going to do the front bulletin boards. I know what background I want and border at least. And then I also brought some goo gone so I can clean some of the sticky stuff off of all of the surfaces. So we're going to start with crate seats and I hope that this goes well. Um, we'll see. Shout out to Maylene at Mrs. Calls Campers because without her tutorial, um, I would have been very confused in Home Depot yesterday. So <laughs> we're gonna start with that and I will keep you guys with me. So it is crate seat time. I think I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I feel like that's normal if you've never operated one of these little guys. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know what I am using. I picked up four white crates, um, just like the normal with the circles. These looked a little bit more sturdy than the Michaels ones that have bigger holes in them. So I went for these and I am using multicolored tops. I found these little um, fabric squares. It's called <laughs> a fat quarter. I found these at Walmart for, I think they were 97 cents each. So I got yellow, blue, green, and pink, a different color for each top. Um, because the top is so colorful, I figured the crate itself would look best white. So these are the fabrics I'm using. Hopefully it will be enough to cover the top. Um, that would be a really big bummer if it doesn't. This is my new staple gun. I'm a proud owner of a light duty staple gun. It is called Hyper Tough. Um, it looks like this. I think it was like $10 at Walmart and I bought some light duty staples. The guy assured me that this would um, work with plywood. So let's hope he was right. I also have some white ribbon for handles. I have a one and a quarter inch foam mattress pad. Um, you guys are currently propped up against that, so I can't really show it to you. <laughs> and I got four pieces of wood cut at Office Depot. Um, they are 12 and three quarter inches by 15 and a half inches. Um, I, again, I used Maylene's measurements from Mrs. Calls Campers when I walked into Office Depot and was, not Office Depot, Home Depot, and was very confused yesterday. That was a super helpful video. So if mine isn't so helpful, you should go watch hers. It helps me. I also have a permanent marker to draw on the crate or the egg crate um, mattress topper before I cut it. That way, it's all cut out. It all fits. Um, we'll see how this goes, you guys. I think first step, I need to open the fabrics and see if they'll cover the wood. So let's start with yellow for the moment of truth, shall we? You guys, that would be such a big bummer. I also keep thinking that someone is going to walk into my classroom. And I'm not ready for that cat to come out of the bag yet, so here's hoping. Oh, they work. Okay, it's a little bit close. 
I'm just gonna open one of the fabrics and try it with topping on there. And then if it doesn't cover all the way around, I'll take the others back and I'll have to get new fabric. But we're gonna try yellow first. Um, it's my favorite color, so works for me. It also says do not operate without goggles, but I don't have goggles. So I'm going to operate without goggles. Um, could be a bad idea. Are there different staples in this box? You guys, how am I supposed to know? Those can't be right, those are too short. No, okay, let's try the other side. <laughs> Ooh, mama, there they are. See, these ones are a lot deeper on the side. I feel like that will be better, right? Right, I don't need more than that. That seems like a lot. Okay, do I put them in? I should probably read the directions. Hyper tough. Oh, I'm really scared now. Okay, it's, it's loaded. We're locked and loaded, people. To operate, push handle all the way down. Staple exits. I feel like that was not enough directions. That cannot be enough. Staple exits. Well, duh. But how do I not die? I feel like I'm not here alone, but really I'm just talking to myself, so I hope no one is watching me. Maybe I should do one staple of just the foam. What do we think? I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm gonna use the staple gun. Here we go. Buckle up, folks. We're gonna staple this first. Okay, this will be good. Break the seal, and then I won't be nervous anymore, right? I did it. Oh, that's that's stapled. That sucker is stapled on there. Here we go, guys. Now I'm ready. Oh, be careful with my fingers. That one was a little scary. Okay, now this corner. Yay. And this corner. Perfect. Okay, and now I'm folding it over and doubling. So I stapled just like that, and then I'm folding this like a book to get the top layer down. Stapling again. Stapling again. Okay, I feel like that was an unnecessary step, but you guys are just here for the whole ride. I should learn how to put a safety on this thing. Um, we're gonna see if it fits, so hold your breath, guys, because that would be really funny. Here we go, one, two, three. Oh, so cute, look at this little yellow guy. Okay, I think that's good. So we have a process, the fabric works. It's a little bunched where I stapled it, but I feel like that's normal. And I bought some white ribbon so I can staple a handle on the underside of the wood to make the seat top come up quickly if we want to store anything inside. All right, one down. I'm gonna keep going now that we got a process.
Okay guys, two crate seats done. I got the blue one, the yellow. I think now that I um, have had a break and I'm sweating and drinking coffee, I think I'm gonna time the next one and let's see, once you've got it down, how fast you can crank these babies out. So here we go, green one coming at ya. Go and set a timer. I did it, look. Four cutie crate seats. The green one I timed, but I didn't go so fast that I would staple my finger. <laughs> so the fastest safe pace that you could finish one in was about four and a half minutes. It was four minutes and 37 seconds. So once you've got it down, once you've got your materials, it's really no trouble at all. I'm actually gonna move them over to this blue table and take the legs, not the legs off, maybe lower it all the way if it'll go lower. I might have to take the legs off, but I want that to be a crate seat table in the middle of a horseshoe going this way. And then we can use it for center. So I'm really excited. I think it'll look really great. I'm gonna slide them over there. Checking back in from my teacher desk. The crate seats are done. They are right there. That's the table that I want to use with them, but it has to have the legs taken off, absolutely. After I put it together, I realized it was much too tall. So there's that. Sorry, someone just popped in to chat with me. But um, anyways, I am not going to be able to do the next thing on my list, which was um, lower the tables, try the horseshoe shape, like actually moving the furniture. Because as I mentioned in day one of my setup, I can't do that without my custodian here to help me. And he is currently waxing along with his assistant, the floors in the pre-K and kindergarten classrooms today. So they are very busy. They have enough on their plate that can wait. So instead, I think I'm going to attempt my first bulletin board and see how that goes and if I can crank it out then maybe um, I'll go ahead and do the two along the front wall that kind of mirror one another I think I'm gonna do them the same they'll be used for different purposes but the same background and border so I'm gonna try and get started with that and then I also have some organizational storage like containers to line the um, compartments, I guess you would call them, along the window side of my room. So I'm going to see if those take up all the space or if I need to grab a few more um, to store my math manipulatives and everything, but for it all to be uniform in the same type of container because I am crazy and they're from Dollar Tree. So if I need more, I'll go grab more after today. So I'm going to get started with this bulletin board right here, you guys. So excited. I have finished the bulletin board behind my desk. I love these borders. Um, there was a little piece on the end that I kept having to cut off to repeat the border, which is annoying when that happens. I wish they would just end where they started. That way you could just use them in a line, but no such luck, not with this one. Anywho, I think I'm gonna do the mirror board on that side of the chalkboard the same as this one. It took a little while longer than I thought and then get some of the organizational bins out um, and up on the shelves just to see if I have enough to fill the space, like I said. And then after that, I think that it might be time to go. I think it's already like two o'clock. So only have an hour left, so I'm gonna get cracking on the other one. Alrighty, I was able to finish the other bulletin board in the front of the room. I think the other one over there is the same you guys saw earlier, and there are the crate seats that are illegal, <laughs> but I think the front of the room is starting to come together. Um, tomorrow, I'm planning to do the top board across with the white background. I'm probably gonna run out of border, even though I thought that I bought way too much. Turns out I was wrong. So I might have to order a bit more border, um, and I'm gonna put my alphabet up top. This will be where I hang anchor charts. I'm going back and forth with the idea of covering the chalkboard because I know that I will never ever use chalk on the chalkboard. Next Wait a moment. All right, sorry, they're announcing buses for summer school. But as I was saying, I think that I might cover the chalkboard with white paper just to make it a little cleaner looking. Um, that also could be a lot of extra work for no reason. So we'll see. If I end up doing that, it'll be probably one of the last things that I do. Other than that, I did put, I'll walk you guys over here. I put my scissors into table caddies, even though I don't have my furniture out yet. And I put the tubs I was talking about out. I think I like those there. And then I have some other tubs for right here, some of the rainbow ones from Target. So I think that is everything. It's about three o'clock. I think I'm going to head out for the day and work on some stuff at home. And then tomorrow we'll tackle it again. Bye, guys.